This is an OEE monitoring system, with a production simulation involving weighing and sorting using a robot and an analytical balance. It includes a dashboard, an on-DAW system, an analytical balance, a robotic arm, and a conveyor. This is the OEE monitoring dashboard that I use, similar to the OEE dashboards I've shown in several of my previous videos. In this dashboard, I've added the readings from the weighing scale in real time, as well as the previous output readings. We can also view the machine status through an SVG image, along with the OE value and its factors, availability, performance, and quality. When the start button on the on-DAW box is pressed, we can see the machine color change to green on the dashboard, and the robot begins moving to perform the weighing and sorting. Just like in the previous video related to the weighing and sorting robot, the robot's movement involves picking up a product from the conveyor, performing a tear on the scale, then placing the product on the scale and reading the result. If the weight meets the specified criteria, the product will be placed in the green box, and in the red box if it's defective. When the robot places the product in either the green or red box, it means the production line has produced an output. The dashboard will then display an animation of the product exiting the machine, and we can see the performance increase. The robot will begin the next cycle to pick up the product from the conveyor as long as the sensor on the conveyor detects an object and the conveyor stops. In this production simulation, the standard weight of the product is 15 grams with a tolerance of 0.2 grams. If it meets the specification, the robot will place it in the green box, and it will be counted as an OK product output. When the downtime button is pressed, indicating that the machine has an issue, the robot will stop at its last step. On the OE dashboard, we will see the machine's color turn red, and the availability value will decrease. When the downtime button is released, indicating the machine is back to normal, the OEE dashboard will show the machine turning green again. The robot will resume its movement to perform weighing and sorting according to its standard operations. In this video, most of the control is managed by Node-RED, starting with sending the target servo position to the ESP8266 used as the servo controller via Modbus TCP communication. Node-RED also reads the scale values using serial communication and records output data for both OK and defective products into the OE system I created earlier. For the on-DAW system, I utilized low raw and Modbus communication, which I have also explained in my previous videos. On the on-DAW box, there are three categories of downtime, machine downtime, quality, and material shortage. When any downtime button is pressed, the robot will stop at its last position and will resume its operation once the downtime button is released.
In conclusion, we have demonstrated an OEE monitoring system that efficiently integrates weighing and sorting processes using a robotic arm and an analytical balance. Throughout the simulation, we showcased how the system responds to operational changes, including handling products based on weight specifications and managing downtime effectively. By visualizing machine status and performance metrics on the dashboard, we can enhance decision making and optimize production efficiency. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check out my previous videos for more insights on automation and production systems. See you in the next video.